that's the big uh, that's the big news. And I hope everybody's doing well and fine and having a grand old time. Let's go get ourselves some Chippewa boots. Oh, Chippewa. Oh. Let me get a big hell yeah from the redneck girls like me. So even though I done spent all the mad money's mad money's and all sorts of the pairs of the new glasses, I still went down to Walmart and got me a pair of these wrap around safety impact resistant, but it should keep most of the shit out and uh, certainly better than a uh, certainly better than my other glasses with the safety goggles over them. That way I don't scratch these up. And so yeah. This would be better. No, like a hundred bucks, so me scores, you know, minus the prescription, which I already had. And uh, they had some smaller ones, like that fit perfectly, that sealed perfectly, but they just they they were they were super small and figured they'd be uncomfortable after a while, so hopefully this would be good. Scores. Of course my shitty camera took too long to turn on and now cloud is covering the middle of the rainbow. And I'm not sure how well you can pick it up anyway. Because it's fading as we speak. But man, five minutes ago, you know, before I was able to get my camera out here, it was legit. And across the whole, how you doing? What's that, hair? <gasps> so, yeah. But between dirty lenses and fading rainbows, not sure how much you can catch. I'm going to go hunt for a pot of gold. cowboy hat, lower my damn headrest, that damn brand new cowboy hat, first time, well not brand new, I bought it a while back, right, but this is the first time I really worn it out, had it for months, first time I ever really worn it out, because you know, one of the ratty ones, right, one of the ratty ones for everyday shit, but these days I feel like getting dressed up, like days I'm going to the western store to buy a new pair of boots, that's right, it's another boot quest, ladies and gentlemen, here we go, bye! Boot quest. Oh, son of a dick. We might not be going anywhere. It has been quite a while since I've driven this car. But let's, uh, let's hook the booster pack up and see what we can't do. Alright. See how dead she is. Oh no. That's like, that's like need a new battery dead. That's not good at all. Really? in business. Driving far enough that uh give the old charge up tech we will. And either way I'll have her plug it in and charge it off the battery while we're rolling. Oh I will yes I oh maybe come on buddy you can do it maybe there we go yay we're heroes oh, we're heroes yeah we are Charging the battery off the battery that we just started with the battery. How you doing? Charging the battery that we just started with the battery, 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 battery. 
Alright, let's see if I can situate this somewhere copacetic where it won't go flying all over the joint. It'll probably do. And uh, let's hit the road jack. Definitely come back, but not till we get new boots, new boots. Hit the road jack. Let's go get ourselves new boots. Oh no. Don't die. What you say? Uh, I ordered some boots online, but they didn't come for like almost a month. And, uh, and when they did come, they were not the boots I thought they were. I might have been a little bit inebriated uh, when I ordered them. A little gurgle, gurgle time. Or I just was half pen. I don't know. But they were not 98 degree heel. They were wedge flat bottoms, which I can't wear. And then plus they were like, really, even though they were thorough goods and said they were normally 200 some odd dollars and just on sale for how you doing, they were not uh, what I would consider comfort out the box. But I don't know, whatever. Really thick. Not impressed. Long story short. So, uh, went to uh, try some boots on at Horsetown last night with the idea that I'd figure out the exact right size and everything this time because plus these boots float on me like I might be able to like I might have tried them but they float on me right so I got the wrong size too because you know tags wear out right if you get the boots and start wearing them so if you don't record it which I never do I don't have a clue what size boots but I have so go to go up to Horsetown where I buy my boots and upon further research like beforehand and, and when I get there for sure like I cannot find my boots are discontinued and that's why I couldn't really find the ones I thought I was you know ordered and I tried to get so they had a few but not in my size I'm like fuck and I see them online and I've looked but the places you can find them aren't my size and they still want you know whatever so I'm trying on new boots, Chippewa, because I had thorough goods, right? So I'm trying on Chippewa, and I think I've settled in on some. But I'm like, you know, fuck it, I'm going to go home and order them on this site that i got to send these boots back to that I have two months to do since I ordered them during the Christmas period, technically. And, uh, and since they're slow as frig, oh, that is not the way I want to go. And, uh... So came home, I don't know why I came home, I should have just got in the car and looked, but uh, came home and ate dinners and then later I, I looked and freaking uh, boots are more expensive online at this joint and everywhere else than they are at the store, like significantly so. So even if I have to pay like a 5% restocking fee and a 10% return fee and all that bullshit, I'm still going to come out ahead buying the two pairs of boots I'm about to buy right here. I mean, it's still going to be $500 or so, but uh, I'm not sure what tax is, but at $270 and $215 plus tax, you do the math. And uh, But hell, they got them for, you know, fuck dude, you got a Chippewa, these pairs of boots are like $324 and like $315. And this Work Boots USA got them on sale for like, uh, I want to say it was like $2.99 and uh, I don't know, $2.70 or something. Well, they got them for $2.70 and $2.15. Like I said, I said that already. Uh, so yeah, so I'm going to do that. And I should have just got them last night and saved myself the gas and the hassle, and the gasoline and the hassle. But then, oh, got to be thorough. Got these two young boys up my ass trying to sell me. I'm like, boys, really? The other two salesmen extraordinaire, the two teenagers. I mean, nothing against them. They were fine young gentlemen, they were. But, uh, <laughs> like, first of all, I'm an old man. And, uh, second of all, I'm anal retentive as fuck. So I'm going to read a shitload before I just willy-nilly, how you doing, buy a pair of boots for 300 bucks, much less two pair for six. They're like, just get them, and then you'll be good, and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, yeah, then fucking hate them. Because I went and tried on every damn pair of thorough goods they had there, and I fucking hated every one. They don't have any the level of quality which are on my feet. That's not to say thorough good doesn't make any. Horsetown didn't care any. And I think I'm done with the buying boots that I haven't. I'm taking pictures now onto the boxes, like I did these two last night. Any boots I buy, 
record that shit, so assuming they're still in production, I can just, and I like the boots, I can just repeat the buy. Same size at all, how you doing? Um, and if my feet get a little older, smaller, when I get a little older, then I, you know, I'm about half size smaller or whatnot. But, I am really, it just sucks, man. You find a good pair of boots, man, it's like, what the fuck, dude? So, I'm disappointed there. These old bridges, one of these days, man, they're gonna give on me. Who's gonna be there to upload the video? Me dying. Okay. I spill soda on my fat fucking belly. That's the big, uh, that's the big news. And I hope everybody's doing well and fine and having a grand old time. Well, let's go get ourselves some Chippewa boots. Oh, Chippewa. Oh. These fucks at Horsetown must love my bumper sticker. Oh, there's probably some cool folks who do. Not everybody who's a, who's a hick is a hillbilly, right? <laughs> Trash cans in my way. Yeah. Should have put it there. It's a parking spot, not a trash can spot. Huh? Oh, first gen Dodge Ram. How you doing? Oh, the Patina Boys. The Patina. <laughs> Whoa, what the actual fuck are you doing? Are you just stopping for shits and giglets? Oh, get the fuck out of the way, dipshit!